Good morning, welcome to Coach Uwidi. Just came from my exercise. But today I want to talk about one topic, a lesson that I've had to learn the most difficult, hard way, you know, where Jesus Christ says, accept one another just as Christ accepted you. Easier said than done. But the blessing that I've had that uh, I got married, or I married, I have a marriage that is cross cultural. That's my wife from Embu, I'm from Lowland. And adjusting together to be able to bring our cultures together was so difficult, very difficult. So accepting one another just as Christ accepted us is not as easy as we, as we might think. Why? Because all of us have a lens, we all have a perspective, and our perspective across culture, across history. And you find that even the churches we go to, many times some of the things we approve, you find people take the Bible and they put together with their culture and they fit it, fit it in very well. So when they come across another culture that defies the cultural perspective of the Bible, they tend to feel like that particular culture is very wrong. And I want to give you an example. You know, a, a friend of mine, you know, just uh, shared with me a story. And this story is about this prostitute who was met and then she was being helped to be a Christian. At the same time, she had to go through counseling. And, and, and one of the things that she said, or she said literally, was the fact that when she was brought up, she was brought up in a family where it was a divided family, mother and father separated. She had to learn to start fending for herself at a very early years. She became, you know, homeless at a very early years around Mombasa. And thereafter, she needed to learn very quickly to, to fend for herself. So quickly to be able to do that, she started just having relationships with men for money. And eventually she became pregnant. And then once she became pregnant, now she had a baby. And this baby needed to be cared for. She had no job. So literally she would go into this particular business to be able to take care of the child, to pay all the needs of the house, the house where she was staying, even eventually pay school fee. And so understanding that was so important for the person who was studying Bible with her. Why was that so? Because she needed to feel validated. But the moment you look at her and the first thing that comes to your mind she is a prostitute and not being able to see the image of God imprinted in her you will not be able to go far and that is how culture you find that culture destroy our relationships without knowing I know the Bible reigns supreme and eventually we have to help people to come live in obedience to the Bible or call them to live in the ways of the Lord but when we have the mirror of the culture the mirror of religiosity and that religiosity is culture history mixed together with the Word of God we will not go and, and so the number one thing that one or an individual must do is first of all to be able to understand the person. I want you to try to imagine again, you have an appointment with someone in a hotel somewhere and then you know you are in the different rooms. So eventually in the morning, the person comes downstairs with their hair unkempt, with a t-shirt and they tell you, I'm so sorry, I'm not able to attend this meeting, then they leave. Now, you don't know the reason why, but if you have a business contract, you say, forget about that particular person. They're useless. How can they not keep after I've traveled all the way, law all, all this far, and they're not coming to honor this particular meeting? You know, then you end up annulling that particular contract that might have benefited you if you worked with him. But later on, then you go back and seek to understand later on what happened, what caused that. Then you realize that particular morning when they woke up, they were just given an information that their wife and the children got involved in an accident and all of them died. Then you realize that when you've annulled the contract, that man, I wish I did not do that. Too late, too late. And many times what happened, we meet someone for the next first five minutes and based on their look, their culture, their tribe, or the way they're dressed, we judge them very fast without seeking to understand where they're coming from. Each and every one of us, we respond and we react based on our perspective. And that's where we have to put a perspective of Jesus, wearing the mirror of Jesus, to seek to want to understand people first, to understand where they're coming from, like, how will you know? If I told you that I have malaria, how would you know? You didn't know. If I told you I'm sick, you didn't know. It's until maybe you send me to a test 
uh, and for m m blood tests and that blood works go over and, and then those blood work papers I bring to you and then what justifies what happened it, it is important to do indeed to build relationships not based on our perspective but based on our understanding of the individual we all react and respond from different varying needs like for example a culture created within the desert area desert there's lack of water scarcity of water so for them they cherish water they preserve every little water that they have so within that you find that they form a culture of preservation so when they come to where you are or to your up country where there's so much water they feel like you're wasting water can you imagine them judging you by that the other thing i said about taita taita land there are a lot of snakes to a point where around the house around the house they do not let grass grow so that they can protect snakes from coming inside. And when you get, indeed, your shoes, you get your shoes, what happens, you quickly find that you have to check your shoes before you wear it. Because at times, many times, snake bites have happened because people just putting on, sliding into their shoes. Even your bed, you have to check under your bed. And now what happens? So the culture there is such that they are kind of used to walking in the middle of the road. So even if when they go to places where there are no snakes, you find that they're still strive to walk in the middle of the road. Why? Because that is how they've grown up. And so environment dictates at times the lines and culture we are in. So seeking to understand the person is very important. So the greatest of them all, in fact the Bible says that the greatest of them all is love. Why would that be so? Even if I, I speak in the tongues of angels, even if I have mysteries that I can do mysteries, even if I can fathom or give all that I have for, to the poor, but I have no love, he says, I'm only a resounding gong. And what is love? Love equally indeed is imitating what Jesus Christ did on the cross, loving the unlovable while we were still sinners. So the word of advice, before you judge somebody, before you make a decision, or before you, you, you write somebody off even for those of us who are dating, seek to understand the person, seek to know the person. Once you know the person, then you can make a decision based on that. So to, to my, my, my the last, last word of advice, accept one another just as Christ accepted you and in doing that indeed you will be able to make the light of Christ shine the glory of God indeed truly shine among the people that you have and with that you'll have wonderful relationships thank you so much welcome to coach with you again I hope this has been able to help you to know how to accept one another God bless you thank you if you need to reach out you know for counseling life coaching feel free Feel free to reach out to me on 0724-994066, Kenyan code. Thank you. Thank you.